All right, so. Uh, this is the Northern Route campaign. We are beginning it today. Today is day one. Uh, teams have been decided. I have no idea what they are. But I, the, 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 the general gist is that everyone is going to try to stay in the same team for all the points in this campaign. That's the general gist, as far as I'm aware. Uh, in addition to that, there are a lot of rules, which basically come down to trying to figure out the map here. And as soon as I get back in the game, I will tell you guys how the map works. Also, we do have a fix for some frame rate stuttering that has been making me want to shoot things so we're trying this in a higher resolution for right now just to test we're gonna follow us first actually we're gonna follow us both rounds i think actually no we have to flip change we have to flip uh but first of all um i'm not losing my mind i hit confirm spawn Uh, we're going to talk about the uh, the map. Okay, so this is the campaign map, um, as it was explained to me. This is kind of like um, I guess it kind of turns into like checkers as far as the strategy goes. There are some limitations to where people can and can't attack from. For instance, all attacking zones have to be at least 600 meters away from each other. That's using the in-game thing. Just doing a quality check right now. We're looking good. But the idea is that uh, there are some team... There's um, a bunch of points on the map. That's where the teams start at, and they attack another district. That's how everything works. The zones correspond to the level of firepower available for that team. So in Zone 0, there is basically infantry combat. Uh, for Zone 1 and 2 and 3, there's escalating abilities. So for instance, Zone 1, you'll start to see APCs. Uh, zone 2, you'll start to see armored vehicles. IVs zone three you could see things as drastic as tanks um, the level of involvement hasn't been nailed down yet but the idea is that that'll be a ways away this will probably take most of the summer unless someone does really poorly and uh, lose a bunch <laughs> so uh, pretty sure it's like lawn versus alpha today so um, I think we got a pretty good chance of seeing some smart moves. Uh, it'll all depend on what happens here. There was a flip. So the way that the action has been decided is that there was a coin flip. To my knowledge, uh, Lon lost the coin flip. So Alpha has four positions to choose from here on the map. Uh, in zone zero, rather. So in zone zero, he has four positions and Lon has three uh, which means Lon will be attacking first. Um, we will have a we'll have a better solution to figure out what exactly is going on here with the uh, oh my god! I just want I'd, I just want the window to be bigger. Uh, we'll figure out exactly how to uh, get everything. Better, better represented. You will see the changes next week. Alpha has said he will update this map uh, on a uh, post-operation basis. Uh, we're going to go ahead and fly in here and see if we can get a listen into the briefing. It's just to the northwest of, um, I think it's called Water Depot. 
ammo depot or, or similar uh, where this red helmet's just been put down the two of them it's key terrain uh, once we take that area uh, it allows then our attacking force which will be squads three and five our main attacking force to proceed southwest on those red arrows to attack the firebase the terrain there is uh, a fair, fair amount of trees and once you cross the uh, the road that i'll mark with the helicopter marker you get into the downslope. From there on into the objective, um, you actually have a bit of an advantage being in the downslope because any HMGs, um, etc., they have won't have deflection to shoot down on you, which is very unlikely. Fingers crossed. Also means if any enemy uh, combatants are trying to shoot at you, they're going to have to skyline on the ridge above you. It makes it a lot easier if you just shoot your way up onto that ridge. We'll have Decrim and his crew providing as much fire support as they can from uh, the HMG location. Uh, onto the enemy positions there on the northeast corner. As you're assaulting three and five, make sure someone's got uh, western and northwestern security as the assault uh, takes place. It's very likely you'll get flanked. I've indicated that with the uh, the red arrow that's in Lima 15 and Mike 15. While all that is going on, Squad 2 is going to proceed from here uh, at live, move to a, um, a rally point somewhere around there, two marker, October 15-1. They're going to be very careful not to be skylining on any ridges walking out in the open. They're going to use the trees as much as possible. They're going to maneuver into a position uh, around the yellow triangle defensive line markers I've placed on the map in November 16. Uh, they're southern security for our firebase and they're also there to um, give the enemy more than one vector of attack to, uh, to worry about. Once the attack kicks off, then they'll be moving west to uh, put maximum pressure on our objective. The objective for us is to kill all the US forces and uh, take control of the area in Mike 16-7. Um, specifically, we want to find their communications equipment and completely dismantle it. Are there any questions? Is this a two-round event? It is. Uh, next round, I believe, we'll be defending. Don't know where yet. That'll be up to uh, where they choose to attack, although it is based upon... Uh, the various lines of uh, attack that are in the dynamic campaign map. For those of you who haven't seen it, recommend you go look at it. Otherwise, this might be a little confusing. <laughs> oh, one thing. Uh, chain of command. So, Decrim's to see this evening. And let's see, we'll go squad leader order after that. It'll then be Odelay, Lagar, Bow. All the barbed wire being put up. We're live here. Uh, all the... Uh So what is he doing? Oh, we have some movement here. Uh, Russia moving out. U.S. moving a squad north and a squad south, holding two squads in defense. Stalker put a mine, putting a mine down here on the road. So this is generally an attack from this hill. Sorry, Hill 112 is attacking Firebase Bjorn. That's actually what's happening here. So this is the main... So Russia moving from here to attack here. For some reason, they're just starting all the way over here. Um, looks like we're seeing Dekram move in. So he's going to establish a FOB here at the same time. Probably just basic stuff. Not entirely sure what's going on here. U.S. actually moving out significantly here. Uh, squad North... Trying to get some elevation. Uh, as you heard during the brief, during the part of the brief that we were able to capture, the uh, it's pretty important for Russia to attack up the hill. And with this squad moving north, they're going to have a bit of elevation. This is also going to really stop the, uh, the Russian advance. Three engineers, though. Four engineers? Four engineers in this squad. May not be as effective as they think. Unless they're going to start putting mines and stuff, like AP mines, all over here. This could actually be going faster than I also think. Uh, Scorpo is... Not entirely... 
a common map that I play. Running distance seems to be a lot quicker than I thought. Obviously, they're going to have to go in this valley, so... Could slow down here. There's a squad maneuvering down south, I believe. Or US. Russia holding this position. Squad 2 maneuvering very carefully. Uh, nobody's going to have optics, although I uh, I would imagine that 50 cal is not an optic. If the 50 cal had an optic, uh, severe problems will will ensue. Let's so kind of say. Uh, let's see what kind of kits we got here. We have GLs on Russia. Lots of ARs. I see an MG down here. Another GL. Spare, rather uh, sparse lats. Looks like I'm only seeing two right here. Usually turn that down first. Oh, yeah. Shadows, the culprit. Mm. Sounds like a low spec PC. Sounds like mine. Alright, so we got a squad arriving first to secure the west side. King hopping all the way up here. Could be seeing shots crack off pretty soon. Some of these guys are skylining. King's got a few trees on his side, but we can probably zoom in to see some U.S. positions here. Matt Honcho, you can see Matt Honcho, the squad lead on the opposite side. He's just holding his position. He's got binocs. He's looking. He's probably got eyes on this. Squad two, meanwhile, moving down into the valley. And they're using trees to get as close as they can. Kind of hard to figure out which zoom I need on the map. So far, no shots being fired yet. Got a little bit of an opening here. I think this is where they want to set up their MG. Matter of fact, they can see the fortifications from here, so this movement has to have been called out by now. Squad 3 is called out squad 4. Lager are going to call that in momentarily, I think, as soon as he figures out what position they're in. Take a look at these US guys. Alright, it's a little off, but the general idea is strong. Lawn is moving some guys in. Got the radio coming in. Looks like we'll probably get a fire base here. I imagine mortars. Odele keeping his guys pretty strong in the south. They're not advancing. They're waiting for everyone else to get set. Lagar wants... Looks like Lawn wants Lagar to put some fire on that position. Push a bit more, push a bit more, and start crawling so you don't skyline. But we need the ARs with a 20 meters approximately between the two ARs looking west northwest. It's a good direction from Javi. Uh, push a bit more. My intent for you, Lagar, is to go north, then west, and hit that element you called out from the north. 
five, you're going to be a base of hire with six contact boys. Good job, guys. Spread out a bit more. Two, uh, start shooting in that direction. So a northern push fire team is being pushed out north to the road, presumably to get eyes on any flankers. Good job, boys. Come on, mate. Come on. So uh, looks like Lon wants the hill to the west targeted. They're gonna hold. They have the FOP down, so they're waiting for an opportunity to play something. I imagine they're gonna have an HMG or something to place, maybe a tripod. You need to look direct west. Direct west is my niner niner, okay? Direct west. I'm, I'm, I have the binos looking northwest, so you're good. Oh, nothing is gonna creep up on you. Stand by. Lagar now sending his entire squad along the road. Contact. Still being avoided. If. All right, here we go. Decker on one shot's in. Oh, we got a GL. I think a GL's firing smoke. And shots being fired. Wolfie is... Got himself a nice rock right here. Taking fire. GL's going in. Ah, uh, keep firing west. And looks like uh, Manhunter is going to pull his guys off the hill. Alright, we'll be full back to my pass. Full back to my pass. Look at a mortar man here. Where I am effectively firing blind. All the U.S. forces on the opposite hill are now off it. Plant coming in. Plant actually hit. Close to these guys, it looked like I saw that smoke. Nobody seems hurt. Uh, no casualties yet. It's all going to be up to Lagar to get up and sweep that position to check and see if it's clear. Uh, squad 2 not engaging anything yet. The tank is... They're still wasting ammo here. Looks like... West. I'm just looking it out to see if there's anything waiting for us. Just keep, yeah, just gonna keep creeping down this hill west. This is, mm. yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit, uh, right now, but I don't know, we'll see. I'm hoping there's a good there, there. up on that hill up there. Interesting one for you here. Operative word there being if. Wait, was someone trying to talk to me? Ow! 
admin was trying to talk to me just now. Sorry about that, I had to clarify something. So they fell back. They fell back and it looks like this is a pretty solid defensive position here. Not a lot of movement. Lagar is still pushing his north side here. Silent is still sitting with a squad off the point. Definitely going to be drawn out here for... Uh, definitely going to be drawn out here for Russia attacking in. So far, a lot of blind firing here. I don't think anyone is actually shooting targets. I can't even see tracers because of the rain. Take a look at the U.S. position here. They're just waiting for this attack to come in. I think U.S. have some sort of intelligence on what is happening opposite. And there's a lot of AP mines here. Matter of fact, I just heard something go down. I think they're trying to build some, uh... It's probably a sandbag that's placed poorly, I'd guess. Now I'm hearing wire getting placed. Meanwhile, it looks like Russia is now starting to cross the river here. Side of this container for now, just to hold this generally. Not quite sure what they're intending to do here. Be a great spot for an HMG, but nothing happening yet. Like are trying to get a word into command, nothing happening. Did we lost commander? Go ahead. Okay. Um <laughs> uh, it's clear over here. Uh, pretty much no contact, no movement. Oh man. Alright, we'll look around you. Hold security there, Lagar. We're going to wait for Bow. Bow, once you're getting up on that uh, ridge you left, make sure you're on the northeast side of it. Protect as much as possible from uh, your southwest. Probably have to move north up the river, then west. Copy, squad 5, move north 100 meters, then west, mic 15, 83 on the reinforcement mark. Alright, that's what Bow's doing. Okay. Nice solid read back and play in there. So I, I was thinking this would be pretty quick. This is not pretty quick. Half an hour in, and we've had some blind firing. No casualties yet. Uh, a lot of maneuvering. And not much else. Lots of mines. Odelay's even sitting this guy's here. They aren't doing anything.
They're just waiting for them up. They're waiting for the opportunity. They haven't been spotted. Squad five, command. Go ahead. Uh, my Charlie FL has eyes on target compound Mike sixteen seven inside one of the bunkers at least times one infantry from the water water tank. He sees contact Roger. one Lima sixteen nine nine spread out. Roger. So in terms of your movement bound. So Bao spotting some skylining elements in defense. I hear a grenade. Oh, <laughs> I got sandbag. Jill gone off just now. I don't know what that is. Way short. Does someone not realize they can't shoot that thing further than like 200 meters accurately? It's not a mortar. Speaking of heavy weapons, we got a uh, HMG down. How many do you think we should have up on the flybys? Depends on how, what kind of a response we're expecting when we start shooting. If we're expecting uh, the whole squad, I'd like a, at least a fire team security, which means that everyone's up here, right? Well, Lagar's got pretty good security out. Like, we got pretty good security. I mean, they could maybe go for a hike around overlay. Um, I just don't want you guys, you know, guarding nothing. Uh, uh, we can... Hey, Command, we have a clear line of sight on that. Uh, whenever you are moving five and you want us to suppress, we are ready to do that. All right, Roger. We're just about to get ready to kick it off. All right. We're about ready to kick it off, says Command. Uh... All right. I don't know what that means, but, uh, they still got 300 meters to run. And there's only two squads on the attack right now. Here we go. Hey, Polo, she got eyes on that compound. Three and five on the attack. The HMG has been reloaded. And is ready to fire. Alright, squad 5 to command. We are set and ready to advance. Here we go. HMG starting to suppress is overshooting significantly. I mean, it looks like it's actually just going straight through the woods here. Everyone is in hard cover. Now, US have decided they're going to respond to the tracers. Bad news for uh, Russia as they come up the hill. This fire team's gonna get a lit up in the forest here. Let's take a look at King running up the hill here. Free stalkers in front of him. There's even U.S. to his right that he's not aware not aware of. Matt Honcho is now gonna be passing. He's passing Matt Honcho's line of sight now. And Honcho is still looking in an opposite in another direction though. Looks like they're gonna be running towards Panther Hawk. Fluffy is over here. Basket of puppies has eyes on. Puts bullets onto King and Fax. Fax goes to the ground. And they're not returning fire. Because I don't think they know where that was coming from. Grenade is on target though. Basket of puppies eats a grenade. Uh, and frag. They need to be more violent here. GL's now starting to crash up the hill. Basket of puppies eats. Nope, that grenade was short. Disengaging. 
disengaging. Sasa's down. Killer J. Let's see Freestalker and Eagle Zeppelin here are also shooting down the hill now. We do have some Russians running straight towards the minefield. So as soon as you cross, uh, crest that, they're up on those sandbags. Jesus, the front fortress up there. Okay. Honestly, guys, if you can, just start popping uh, GLs at those sandbags. Keep them down. Uh, let me figure out how we're going to snake our way up through here. I think a push from us would be beneficial. It's pressing. Once five is about and three, we're actually starting their actual maneuver on it. Then then we go. Fire, fire. So this hill has a bunch of mines on it. Like that. I'm hit. Oh yeah, go cyclic on that thing, buddy. Oh, there you are. Start firing. One, ki one kill for uh, Russia right now. Just light it the fuck up. <laughs> We're gonna see some lats shoot uphill here, I think. Grenades are rolling down the hill. Sorry, that's one kill. It's three kills for US now, one kill for Russia. Free Stalker goes down. I think Moses just traded their a bullet to get in. Lots of casualties. Bow is looking almost dead. I think he's going to bleed out. Ooh, that was a TK! I think they're starting to run in some of these mines. Either that or some crazy GLs being thrown here from US. Down the hill. Into the trees. <laughs> Moses has kind of been like the best position to do anything. He's forward in front of his whole squad. Squad 5 now starting to make a run up the hill. I don't think they know about these mines. I don't know if these mines are going to be effective or not. Alright, we're going to keep working our way west. Just try to work your way uh, southwest if you can. Actually, a mine somewhere in front of Lil Joe right here. I'm seeing chasers coming from 222 from my position. Southwest. Yeah. Stevo and Eagle Zeppelin are still stuck here as Russians try to advance around them. But Stevo may not know it yet. A bell ba a bow goes down. Eagle may not know yet. Or Swift. Words. Stevo might have an angle on this. Grenade's coming up. This is actually really good here. Uh, Odile leading his guys around south. They're not being shot at at all. There are some U.S. guys right up here. Astrius might have... No, he falls back from the edge, but he's got eyes looking this direction. He's not going to see them unless he pops up. And Astrius is going to reposition here. Polish, it's a mine. Significant damage to Polish there. 
You can see the AP mines take out about half life. And the push is stalled. More casualties here in the south. GL's being traded here. Odele goes down to a mine! Then maybe those are grenades being thrown. There are some mines around here, but maybe that was a grenade. Hey, medic, fall back. Fall back. Body <laughs> ready. Okay. <laughs> Little shrimp goes down. Astrios just pops up over the uh, the rock formation there and just pops him. Disengaging and looping around to the south side. Roger, I'm coming up with uh, Dick and support. And the fire base has now been abandoned. Just east of the cap. Alright, Roger. You can keep up the uh, suppression on them. Squad 5 making a big push here up the hill. Close to within 50 meters. Blue Jericho is going to run into fortifications. This is going to be bad news for him. Uh, U.S. still have significant presence in the Northwest, too, and it looks like Silent is now moving his guys to reinforce the backside. Whichever side falls first. Down to Hun. Squad 2 is just getting shredded here. This position's too strong for them to attack, I think. Ben Super, right up the top here, has himself camouflage uh, murder hole sandbag. And Charlie Fox and Fluffy now shooting into the side of more Russians advancing. Killer J goes down. Fluffy gets tagged as well. Get over here to Fluffy's perspective. Luffy Medic heals himself. Charlie Foxtrot has a decent position here. Grenades going in. And looks like these guys are going to break off. I would say not enough aggression, but Rush is showing it now. Grenades coming up. Looks like Super ben, ben Super took a grenade hit. Top left, top left. All right, keep watching. Keep watching. Make sure that you guys. Most of Russian forces here have made it past the mines. Just throw these damn grenades up the hill. Also, yeah, just throw them up the hill. Grenade going up. They need a little bit more distance to clear, though. Right now, U.S. massive lead, 12 kills to 5. Deer taking shots from Godfather. Deer still getting tagged. The tree is not enough protection. Copy. Cap pin. Do we want us to do Cap pin. Got some close contact here. Blue's made it up the first hill. Looks like he wants to try to get in here. He's looking for ways to shoot through, to infiltrate through the uh, sandbag line. Tentric is loading his Carl. He wants to take a shot. 
Han goes down. Might see Flame Mage. What did he do? He missed. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that was brutal. Uh, looks like Eagle... Eagle and Steve are the only ones holding this uh, entrance right here. Tide is not turning for Russia. Russia losing more and more. U.S. still not pulling in the reserve. They're definitely in these trenches over here. Scottish has no bandages. He might bleed out. He's about to bleed out. He's about to bleed out. I don't think this. Oh, the medic saved him. This is gonna be a. That was so kill. close. <laughs> nice save. Hey, medic. The only one left is bot one two three on the south. Yeah. If I die, yeah, yeah no. Nah. It's, it's just the uh, I hate it. that comes down get that. And he's all alone, so he's got to withdraw. Radio is the target, and there's still two squads defending that position. Sam the Engineer, opposite side of all of this, is being, uh, is allowed to move up pretty much unaffected. No one's really shooting at him that I can tell. They got a bunch of trees for cover. I'm at. I see some, some stuff moving there. We'll go and check. Does he see Silent above him? No, he doesn't. I don't know what he's looking at. Eagle Zeppelin goes down and Russia have made it up. Steve-O might be the next target for blue here. Shots popping off. Lots of shots happening. Spy from the KGB gets tagged. He's tagged twice. He's bleeding. He goes down. Grenade takes out Czech. Good day, good day. Six one takes a bullet. Crawl up here, crawl up here, I got you. Little Joe has a decent position. You're good, keep your gun out. Anyone here will see a left radio. Lots of pushing in here. Reg a mills up to twelve, rush or US up on twenty one. Silent is still here, and it looks like we're starting to see a little flanky here. Uh, I'm curious, how is Sam... Oh no, this is Lagar. No, this is Moses. And Fax, and Fax and Moses walk into... Mason. Mason drops them both. Great security from this element. I think Sam is going to commit to this push. Smoke's coming out here. Mill need to get some moving on, and that's what's happening. Silence guys are still standing here. So are Utopian JJs still holding the uh, east side, the southeast side of the point. Kind of hard to tell, but they are in the Javi and from the left. Put from the left. Dresden Destroyer is a killer position here. It's how Decrum got killed. They're watching this sandbag line. Yeah, just just work with me. Stay with me. Avi making some bold moves here along with Wolfie. Avi puts down Dresden Destroyer from the uh, back. The guy that was in here. See in the bunker? No, I got one. Just stick with me. Cover my six. A macho man, nacho man. <laughs> Dude, he's literally five feet. 
feet in front of you. Deep. Do you not see him? He's right in front of you. Well, he was. He gave up. U.S.'s defense is kind of uh, failing here, but I don't think Mill has the manpower to to, to take it out. No, I have U.S. holding pretty strong here on the point, and there's still two squads and not yet in play, really, in this defense. Good idea. We've got a little, we've got, sounds like a fire team on our south about 80 meters. Don't, don't jump on top. Rex put a bunch of bullets into Javi, and there he goes. Roger. In the bunker. 6 1 with the spam. Rex is behind a Hesco wall. He's not going anywhere. Rex is still bleeding, though. I'm bleeding out, man. 6 1, no bandages? 6 1, no bandages. He's got to go. He's got to commit. Rex is now got a bandage. Pistol. And 6 1 now in the back line. He gets another pistol kill. Ben super dead. I'm fucking bleeding out. Dude's in, I think, just found lawn darts. And 6 1 also goes down here. 33, it's starting to look pretty grim here. It's just Sam and Barras off the point. Everyone else is trying to stack into a two. Uh, who else left for Mill? Just Ma Nacho Man and Bob Ross on the. On the attack. They're the only ones alive, bro. Oh shit. It's us and squad. You're three. right. Oh, okay. This is some lone survivor shit. We're not making it out of here. True. Alright, how do you wanna die, Randy? I don't wanna die laying on the ground. I, don't know. I wanna I wanna die on my feet. Are you ready? Same the engineer. Over here with his other buddy. Wait and see what Squad Three does. Oh, oh yeah, they're there. Maybe it's only a couple people left. No one knows like who on all the other left. side too. Maybe not. I'm hoping they can clear out whoever the fuck was shooting at me. Unlikely. 17 kills for Mill in that attack, 33 kills for U.S. Good luck, brother. It's been an honor. And these guys aren't making any moves. They're just holding. Uh, let's see what these guys are doing. These guys are actually making a push up the hill. Barras gets caught down by Zuba. Does Sam get the return? No, he does not. 240, 240. Oh, shit. Anything to shoot with. Sam has nothing? He's got a pistol. Okay, I lost two rounds. Alright, Sam. Shit. Time to stand up and... Time to stand up and commit. Uh, he's just gonna use all of his pistol ammo. Lost round. The suppression's pretty good. From US here. Mine, hey, might have a uh, chance here. I think Sam's on his last pistol mag. He's gonna run away. Oh no. Somebody's gotta push this. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like Bob and Nacho Man are gonna run away. Uh, probably gonna get admin intervention here soon. I think we have a better shot just approaching it. Oh no, maybe he's Bob is just moving around. Bob goes down. Maybe that's enough to uh get him figured out here. Looks like Zuba pushed on Sam the Engineer. So now it's down to Notch Man, Handy Savage. Dudes who might have a shot. I think he's on the other side of that actually. I can't tell. Probably better if Nacho actually got up and moved. He'd be a little bit faster here. Shots now coming in from Joe Violence, and that's it. GG is called, and Russia's first attack fails.
with Russia's first attack down, we're going to have a, uh, a slight break here. And then we'll be coming back around to U.S. will be attacking. So, uh, stay tuned for that. That should be just a second. I'm going to make some more coffee and put another song on for you guys real quick. And then we'll be getting started with round number two. You hadn't missed anything yet. All right, guys. Outstanding job. The uh, the Russian forces that were innocuously disguised as militia forces last round uh, were unable to break through Firebase Bjorn, and we are now beginning to launch our counteroffensive. Our goal is to secure the high ground on the far side of the Scorpo River Valley uh, in Oscar 17, codenamed Hill 304. Hill 304 is going to be a pretty high climb uh, with not a whole lot of cover once we begin to get up towards the top. So make sure you're utilizing smoke, grenades, bounding, cover fire, etc. As we push out, we're going to attack, try to attack from multiple different points to try to overwhelm their defenses. Silent Squad 6 will kind of be doing uh, some mountaineering. They're going to be trying to scale the mountains to the south of Hill 304 and then come in from above it. While that's going on, Squad 3, Buses Squad, will be pushing. We're trying to push straight from straight west of the, uh, of the hill. Matt will be just north of him, coming in from the northeast. Utopians guys has the most amount of tr uh, most amount of distance to cover, and they will be flanking around the north side, possibly even coming in a bit more on the east side. If you see those two uh, red arrows that are further out, straddling the Papa 16 line and then cutting northwest, those are our rough bear or rough borders that we should not be crossing. So pretty simple. We're basically going to be advancing across this valley. Uh, I also forgot my, my mistake. Squad 5, Inky Squad, will be setting up an HMG on a hill just to our east here. Uh, along with their 2MGs, will be basically providing cover fire from across the valley. Squad 5, your goal is to pretty much any fire that comes from that hill that impedes any of the squads, primarily Squad 3 or Squad uh, 4, then your goal is to basically just lay down a lot of hate and keep their uh, heads down. Eventually, either if you guys start taking too much fire, you're forced to whatever, you'll abandon that position and then follow the other squads in. The name of the game, right right now guys, the, the name of the game is going to be flexibility on this. Um, we may have to adjust the plan slightly. Three may go north, three may go south, three may stay where they're at. We may have to divert people to engage forces as we come into contact with them. So just be prepared, FTLs, make sure you're paying attention to the plan. Uh, we may have to change things up with your squad on a dime, so just be ready for that. Any questions? What are uh, ROI? ROI? ROE? Uh, it's up to your squad. Uh, to I'll leave it up to your SLs to determine your respective ROEs, because each squad has a different role. Turn on investment, I want to Alright, uh, SL's break him out, let's get ready for life. Alright. Uh, slowly 100%. walk back. Oh, you're live, good luck. Right. Damn, that means I'm on point. <laughs> Alright. So, <laughs> sad, there will be no mines, but there will be two HMGs and a Tiger. Two Tigers. Uh, a lot of mobile firepower right there, plus the hill. Limited amount of ammo though, so they're not going to be able to spam those HMGs forever. So this is mainly like a real defense sort of situation. We're going to fly over actually and take a look at the Russian positions because we didn't actually take a look at it yet. We're going to see the radio coming up. Uh, we can now see the hill and we now see these positions. <clears throat> Pretty close in defenses right now. Squad 2 moving north, squad 4 moving south, trying to get more elevation on the hill. We also see squad 5... Uh, gonna be more I got near the main position. And immediately the Tigers have been spotted because they're being driven up. Uh, right Alright, so the mystery is gone immediately. Seen a bunch of a, seen a couple of a, uh, mini machine guns, seen an ammo bearer. Lats, relatively mild lats. Oh, there's another HMG, or MMG. So Russia running right now three medium machine guns, ARs and every two ARs in every squad. Looks like two HMGs, two Tigers. Yep, that little flat, uh, that little flat, uh, 
plateau, that's where we're attacking. <laughs> I think everyone is now realizing it would be an ice cream truck. Want an ice cream? I should buy ice cream. I still maintain that uh, fruited preserves and, ice, and vanilla ice cream is probably one of the most go-to things you can get. U.S. have over a click to run here to get to the position. They're going to be running further than that for this operation. It's a T. Uh, oh, you know, the, the gun, never mind. You're talking about, talking about a techie. Dish code. What's the rules of engagement to the fire support squad? Do you want us preemptively firing or reactive? Uh, reactive. Wait for them to open up first. A vehicle blowing up at main, Lamau. Give time for the other elements to get in there, because the funny thing is, they're going to have, if they got Tigers and HMGs, they're going to have way more firepower to bring on your little area up there. Oh yeah, they were looking at So, spread your guys out, get ready. Could be good. If you're getting suppressed up there, or it's like there's a lot of fire, abandon the position. Go. But I mostly want you guys, attack you opening up when we're about to make our uh, attack. Break, break, break. I see contacts lining up by the lodgy on the mountain. Copy that. Try not to engage. We're going to try to get as close as we copy, can. Copy, copy. I'll tell you guys a little bit more about the arm event I'm doing later. Uh, it's kind of cool. I don't know how it's going to be. Or if you find but uh, it's the first time I've run an event with this unit. but Not run an event, but played an event with this unit. Should be good though. I'm looking forward to it. All right, looks like an update. We're seeing, uh... The edge of the hill now looking over. There's a squad down here, isn't there? Oh, yeah, they ran all the way up here. Look at that! So what is this position even? I'm inside the hill right now. <laughs> Hold on. Inside the mountain. Here we go. All squads be advised they are manning the tiger now. So this is like a this is like a rear guard position. Northwest, but I can't quite tell. So one two, it's looking more out your way, I think. Oh, that's weird. Copy. About halfway up the ridge, uh, from where that tiger is at, for I'm seeing a lot of sandbags. The sound went away. Oscar eighteen nine. All right, so these guys definitely haven't been spotted, although they know they're running up the mountain. I don't think they know where. I would imagine they would set up here, actually, but uh, that's a better position to support the base if the people come up the hill. If the U.S. comes up the hill, U.S. still so far away, I can't see anyone's names. There they are. It's in your screen right now. I'm gonna roll on over to the. That's a good call. There is one squad north on this main uh, approach, this leg of the mountain. Uh, take it slow and hold rear. So make sure you're always maintaining rear security. Uh, same thing with you, one. So looking up here at the top here, Little Shrimp and Polish Serb holding the northern side of the entire Russian firebase. Uh, on the side of the mountain, on the side of the hill here. I think it's hill 304 is what we're calling it. Crawling around, so they're just trying to be, they're trying to be sneaky here. I would imagine US is going to have a great idea of what's going on here. Three, you will begin your Decent amount of sandbags, but these aren't really going to help. This is just basically for people to put bipods on. Matter of fact, where's the approach? So if you're coming from the north here, what is the actual approach to get up the hill? There's only two real approaches. 
Yep. So if you're approaching from the north to the south, you have to come up this main drag. Then there's a slight possibility of falling out over here, but I think at that point you get engaged by too many angles for it to really matter. Super interesting. Uh, Alright, now getting close here within 600 meters on the map. Uh, Inky, you're going to be 3IC. Silent, you're going to be 4IC now. Just because Inky, you're in a good spot to where if I and Matt go down, you can kinda, you're able to kind of sit back and take stock of the situation. Golf. So again, just to reiterate, new command. Golfy. Myself, then Matt, then Inky, then Silent, then Utopian. Then no shots yet. Imagine it's gonna be happening soon. Utopian, if you're having already, maybe send some guys east of that ridge as well. I wonder what the plan is here for Russia. Like, how close in that they're letting people get up here in the north? Uh, we are 200 meters away from contact. Alpha now speculating that there's people behind them. There's a lot of people on this ridge. With no real uh, indirect fire to speak of. Shots being fired now. He should be firing shortly. Here he comes. Where's that Tiger engaging you from, Silent? I can't fucking see it. Come on, Tilk. Oh, wow. Hey, something just exploded up on the hill. Might need to dig it. Good shit. The Tiger got hit. Silent put a rocket into the Tiger? Tracers are a little high. Contact the north, actually. We're gonna zoom. We have contact within 50 meters ahead of us as we advance south. Copy two. I have no eyes on your position there. If you need to, you. So the little shrimp goes down. Looks like a squad lead also died. Little pundit still bleeding. Polish Polish fell back. Of course, little pundit, the medic, is gonna have all the time in the world to heal himself. Three kills for Mill. If you start to take uh, casualties, I don't want you. Uh, I don't want you pushing. So the Tiger got ladded. It's like one round missed, one round hit the engine. But of course, the usefulness of the oh sorry, the usefulness of the uh, Tiger is its gun. HMG raining fire in this position. Red tracers. Feet away from the Russians that are defending the ridge. One is about ready to start climbing here. Four is on the hilltop. Four is not on the hilltop. We're still climbing. Three is about ready to start climbing the hill. They're going to climb into the side of the northern leg defender here. Basket of Puppies actually firing up the hill. Maybe he found Tan and Nathan. Meanwhile, behind. 
Grizz has been enveloped. Pantherhawk doesn't know what's going on, and Grizz stands up. Grizz is moving. I think Grizz just found Panther, yep. And Grizz is gonna get a kill and fall back. He's gonna get shot on the way. Lots of misses from Fluffy Natty. Fluffy. Grizz is running past friendlies here. Bong goes down. Polish got a kill there. Polish nearly eats a grenade. He runs away. Oh, Utopian, you died on the north. Sad times. Blue Jericho actually gets pinged here on the hill from the HMG at distance. Not a kill at this distance due to damage fall off. This is bold bus driver man stand coming up on the main hill right now. They have all the defilade in the world to this position. HMG needs to continue, wants to continue firing on the uh, Tiger, and it looks like that's happening. Or how much more we got going on here? Dudeson leading the charge up the hill. Could be spotted any second now. Most of the defenders not going to be able to shoot on this, though. HMG now lighting the Tiger up. Bear's got to get out of there. It's on fire. Bear's got to get out of there. Stop reloading. Bear gets shot as they come up the hill. Looks like Dudeson might be responsible for that or Razor. Max on the HMG now trying to return fire on the American HMG a distance. I think I would try a kilometer shot from here. It's actually on target. Might have actually gotten a kill there. I might have gotten a hit. Fax goes down. And that's because... Oh, this is a great position to start throwing grenades. Are they going to do it? Alpha's going to get shot in the back here. Let's see who gets over this hill. Does Techrome do these guys up on the top of the hill see Alpha? The radio's got to be sticking up. That's got to be a telltale sign of shoot me. Alpha slowly getting pushed from behind. Actually, Mortarman and uh, Chief Shano moving around. Position has actually gone poorly for Russia right now. Dudson and Raysha are still crawling to get in position here, and they have the hill to help them into for a little bit longer. King pushing Dudson. Dudson stands up. King didn't see it. King stands up to see Dudson, and yep, that's a pop. Razor firing up the hill. I think he just got a Reza. And he just got Bow. Razor gets shot by King. The trade's going good. U.S. on 12 to Russia's 6. Meanwhile, the North push kind of faltering. Lots of uh, falling back here for Russia. They're falling back into the side of the hill. HMG's not going to have a shot on this. Sooner or later, Alpha's going to have to pull. Alpha's going to have to pull these guys here. There's Charlie and, and Charlie and Steve-O using the hill. They're pushing past an entire squad who's going to be able to shoot them from the behind as soon as they... Maybe they know it's... 
Steve with a shot on Honda. Hun misses. On displaces. Oh, there go. Headshot on Honda Hun. Pincer attack is real, and you, uh, Russia have fallen back from the main objective defense. That's the radio is in the middle. Now. Sam the engineer shooting down the hill, looks like. Kind of hard to tell. There's a lot of fighting on this hilltop. Sasa goes down. I believe. Lots of trading. Lots of trading here, and U.S. is starting to pull ahead, even on kills at 20. U.S. now in Russia's fortifications. Moses hops on the rear HMG, starting to shoot. Not sure what Moses can be engaging from there. Let's check it out. The hill is so drastic. That is true. So, Moses has a HMG pointing up the hill now. Russia still holding the backside of the hill. There's a whole squad still off the point. Hill, but the objective is still radio location 017. Yeah. You see the radio of the hourglass. That's the goal. I do not have the U.S. now ahead in kills 24 to 23. All right, copy. And that's because the northern side of the push has been pretty much evaporated. Uh, but U.S. starting to run low on numbers. Polish Serbs still alive. Looking for more. Looks like he's gonna run towards Eagle Zeppelin. Hey, Eagle, can you hear me? Eagle's looking for him, and... I'm the last one of my squad. Me too. Lib and Eagle, the only ones left. That's the east of us. I believe I got two of them, but I'm not sure. Don't know if Eagle can see the helmet of Polish Serb right there. I'm out of nades. Polish's gun. Polish is sneaking up. Wonder if he's got a shot on Lib. He might have a shot on Lib if Lib stands up. These bushes. Let's see if the rest of the guys south of us can push up, and if they get close enough, we'll just have to use our lives to distract them up here and push. Oh, we're seeing Inky roll into the fire team with the Lodgy. Can't get that close with it. Be kind of funny if he did. U.S. still ahead, 26 to 25. Lots of injured U.S. Uh, folks, though. They're going to push around and try to use the hill to their advantage to try to get onto the radio. That's what I think what Silent wants to do. Defending the radio right now is just King, Moses, Londarts, Reno, Polish. Does he have a shot at the hill from here? Well, that's amazing! Bus driver man, Stan goes down. No, that's not him. That was someone else. It was silent! Alright, I am all that's left of squad 3 at the moment. Uh, um, I'll be going down. Just join me! Oh, oh, maybe not silence dead. It was bus driver man, Stan's last squatty. Lots of stepping over each other on command comms here. Oh, Alon is actually dead. The tides have turned, but the kills are still even, and that's mainly because Russia still have a lot of people off the point. But U.S. are now starting to reinforce with another fire team here. These are MMGs, so it's not going to be as uh, great to engage with cl close quarters, but... Too many. Too many. A lot of verbose questions being asked here. Not enough momentum. 
Yeah, we move when Squad Five is able to make a move. So Polish went down here on the s on the north. Moses is still occupying the gun. He's actually taking up a position to look for people coming up the hill here. Uh, one can you scale up from your side at the same time. Not going to be happening. Reno is the last one. He's hiding in a push, watching the radio. He's actually watching up the hill. So it's just Moses watching south. U.S. have this objective wide open now. Where is it? Radio would be roughly in grid Oscar seventeen six two. It's pretty close. It's on the eastern side of the hill. Uh, by oh, we'll call that. A, we'll call that a direct hit on the call. Smoke it and try and take it. That's what we gotta do. It's a lot of U.S. on the, uh, side of the hill here. Alright, clear left here. It's just Reno and Moses on this hill. Everyone else needs to be running. Wait, is King still up? King is still up. But he's looking up the hill. He's looking for people to come down the hill. He's looking for bus driver man stand to take a pot shot at him, I think. Positioned on the eastern side of the hill down there. It, uh, it wipes my squad. King just gets deleted. I don't even know from where. I'll be nearing the radio bus. Uh, continue along east. It's, uh, there's a the bus driver man stand get a shot? Might have. East. It's in the sandbag. Oh, shit. So it's now just Moses... In Major Reno, defending the radio, and Moses not even on it. Reno's looking still up the hill. What is this guy, AFK? I don't think he's moved. No, he's not AFK. He's still there. The radio in sight for U.S. soldiers now. Hey, I believe you guys are shooting at me. No, there's guys up the hill of you. All right, so my... U.S. on the radio. Can Russia stop them? Copy. Signs point to no. The radio we are Moses doesn't know what's going on. He's still looking down the hill. He hears the pops. Uh, four, he he does nothing. Major Reno. Still looking up the hill. That's what that sounded like. It seems like there's like AFK people right now. Uh, bus driver man Stan. US, Russia not just taking pot shots at the radio from here. They can't really get accurate fire on it because of the smoke. Yeah, there are multiple contacts directed to myself on top of that. Not your man Andy gets uh, hit there. Copy, we have good smoke cover here. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Redipus going full cyclic on his uh, MMG. Or his AR potentially. I don't know which one it is. Yeah, I'm getting it on this hill. I let your guys and the radio's being dug. Uh, Inky. Major Reno AFK question mark. Seems confirmed. Destroyed radio. Major Reno AFK. And it looks like the other guy got killed. Nope, he's not AFK anymore. Does he realize the radio's being dug? He does not. And the radio's on bleed out. Mission failed for Russia. This is a secured sector for US. Major Reno get any kills to help try to clear the area. Puts bullets into the Super Ben. Ben Super, he's down. Mr. Toaster might not be able to respond to that. Bus driver man Stan is actually still up. And is still shooting up the hill. U.S. now in charge of the position for real. Russia not able to put any security on this radio. Reno, or sorry, Bush Army Man Stan goes down. Maybe Reno responsible for that. Reno now firing, close in. GLs hit that definitely behind the hill. Ooh, and some good thinking here from some GLs. Reno stands up and it starts going running at this position. Right JKR goes down. 
South. We just hit JKR. Yep. Reno's still standing. Puts the bullet at Inky. Nope, nope, nope. Reno gets hit twice. Juvenus. Good shit, good shit. And now U.S. definitely have a solid handle here. I think Flame Mage is the only Russian left. What a victory for U.S. here. 33 to 32. I wonder if there's some number discrepancies there with the scoreboard. Flame Mage... Gonna try to put a shot on the check here, maybe. 1v... 1v at least. Oh, like GL? No. He's short. Maybe it's just been smoke, too. Yeah, it's smoke, and smoke is short is not gonna be helping. Check now putting bullets into Flame Mage. <laughs> what are you gonna do, Flame Mage? You're gonna run in a hill? Run in a hill? He's gonna run down the hill, use the smoke, and try to approach. Check going full cyclic here and missing everything. Flame Mage now gonna die for... Oh, maybe not. He's actually bleeding. <laughs> Flame Mage is still bleeding. Approaching red. He's got a bandage. He's got a band. He's bandaged. Okay. So, Flame Mage... Looks like we're not going to be cutting the stream short today. Flame Mage still taking... <laughs> He's still falling down the hill. Yeah, Monkus. You're welcome. I like doing this. Wish I was better at the game. So I could actually play the game more. But, uh, you know. I'm getting better at it. I've actually been playing a lot of squad lately. Less pub, more uh, modded, different variations, but uh, I've been playing more squad for sure. Flame Mage now and checks Defilade. No one else is moving to help him, so let's see if Flame Mage can get a kill here. Uh, potential other shooters could be Mr. Toaster, but there's a lot of hill in the way. Flame Mage straight, running straight up on check. Flame Mage is going to toss a grenade. It's going to bounce off the hill. Sad. That was his one shot. Now Flame Mage is going to have to shoot him. Check is running around. Does Flame Mage see him? Yes, he does. 1v5 now. Mr. Toaster and Juventus going to hunt out Flame Mage here. Juventus, make it a beeline for it. Wonder if he knows he must be coming around this direction. Juventus checking the tiger, doesn't see anything. Flame Mage now in view of Eagle Zeppelin and Silent Death, and Silent takes him out, and that's GG! What an attack. US survive with five and take a sector. Lots of cyclic over longer this. this. More basic. Uh, yeah. This was an open op, so. Could be why. Although I imagine most of these people have basic. Anywho, that's going to do it for the stream today. That was the first day of Northern Route campaign. Liv got a kill, guys. Liv got a kill and survived. Good stuff. All right. Well, that's going to do it for us on the stream. Thanks so much for watching.